ah ah he he le ayo le to yo like hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is jb and today's video is going to be a get ready with me video i'm going to be installing um a hair that i got and i'm going to be doing my makeup for you guys on camera but before we go into this video please if you are watching me and you haven't subscribed please go ahead and hit the subscribe button i am literally begging you please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and if you end up enjoying this video please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up yeah and leave your comments in the comment section below as well okay so um this is the hair that i received it is from lumi hair and yeah it has this cute bag which i really like so um taking it straight out of this this is what the packaging looks like um it's not bad um it's nice it's not the best packages i have seen uh when it comes to hair but it's nice so it comes with the hair the unit itself and it comes with four rollers and it comes with a headband in case um, the wig is too big so you can adjust it and then it also comes with a stocking cap um this is true yeah it comes with two stocking caps so i'm going to be using the stocking cap uh, for this installation today so i'm going to um go ahead and use my uh, got to be glue to thin my um my front hair into place so that they you know they stay in place throughout the installation i'm going to go ahead to put on my stocking cap this actually fits really nice okay so going into the hair it is in this bag and it is a straight bob hair wig the color is natural black it's a 10 inch wig you can see that it is not a 360 lace so it's just the lace is just in the front and then you have um, the other part of the wig so i'm going to be removing these pins it comes with five of them i don't like these pins they fact they they make me feel very very uncomfortable so i'm just going to quickly remove the pins and then start the installation all right so i have removed everything this is what it looks like i just feel that when i remove the pins the wig lays better and i'm more comfortable which is key it's key for my get to know me video i'm sure you guys know that comfort is me me is comfort remember <laughs> if you haven't seen that video i'm going to link it up here so you can watch it and just enjoy yourself and get to know me literally yes so i'm just going to take a bit of my foundation and just like go into the lace something like this can you see yeah so with this it matches my skin tone even uh, better so you want to go a little bit further from where the hair stop so that when you cut it that side is still um your skin color as well yeah so this is what we have guys and i'm just going to go ahead to put on the wig now and i'm going to use my hair clips to hold it in place while i install it Now, and i'll be going with my got to be spray and i'll start from the center of my hair and i just want to spray that in right something like that and you just want to comb that a bit in place i'll then go in with my um dryer on cool you want to do this in sections so that you're not overwhelmed well that's what i do i like to do it in sections so that you know <laughs> i'm not overwhelmed and i don't miss a spot 
and then I want to go into the other side I'll just do it in section so yeah Alright guys, so this is the wig all laid. <laughs> I'm going to use my manicure scissors to gently cut out the excess lace. Yeah, so. Now that we have everything laid, I'm going to go into my got to be again and just use my finger to take a bit and just press it into the um, edges just so that you know the, the lace melts even better and then I'll go ahead to tie it in place. So I'm going to use an old pop socks to tie the hair in place and then remove it to make up. I also want to use this headband to, you know, put it in place as well. To start my makeup, um, I'm going to go in with my my Rebadesque facial spray. You guys know it's my holy grail. Right now, this is the moisturizer I'm using, and I absolutely love it. It's the Mary Kay um, Day Cream with SPF. It has like. It leaves my face moisturized every time so this is what i'm using now for those who have been asking or for anyone who is interested and i also go in with the mario badesky facial spray and i spritz that on my face just for extra hydration i have used this already so i'm just going to go in with this spray and just spritz it all over my face i have waited a bit for my face to dry up so now that um I have it a bit dry then I'm going to go in with my illuminator I'm going to be using the Ellis clear illuminator guys I like this illuminator for everything I'm using in this um, video I'm going to leave um, the names and everything in the description box as well so you can also check it out in case you don't catch it in the video so this is the Ellis clear illuminator and I'm going to just be using a few drops of that on my face I'm so in love with this combination of um, the Mary Kay, the Mary Kay um, moisturizer and this Mary Badesky. Both together is, is just bomb, oh guys. My face is always, always hydrated. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place foundation in the shade Togo. This is what it looks like. I love this foundation. It gives a matte finish. And yeah, so. I'm just going to use my beauty blender and I'm going to just take a bit and guys <laughs> Sunday is my birthday <laughs> yeah Sunday is my birthday uh, I don't really have anything planned so to say even though I'm going to like go on a like a really short trip with my friends but I'm going to try to see if I can film the trip it's not something elaborate it's just like really really short and quick and if I'm able to film it then I will of course film it and <laughs> and put it up for you guys so that you guys can watch hopefully it's interesting yeah so yeah it's been an amazing year to be honest um a lot of big decisions but we are grateful to god i'm not really happy actually i'm actually happy where i am there's some things i have done that i did not believe that you know i could do so i'm grateful for those um most importantly i'm also grateful for youtube 
now I have you guys. Um, I didn't have you guys last year, so uh, now I have you guys, and you guys are going into another year with me, which is amazing. So, <clears throat> yeah, not that I do anything in particular like that, to be honest, but I don't know the fact that it's my birthday, it just makes me really happy. I mean, um, and most importantly, uh, makes me really, really grateful for the fact that you know I'm still alive. My last birthday, I actually did enjoy it. I went on a trip, a very a weekend trip with my friends. I think it's because my birthday falls in summer, so and this is a time when people travel, uh, get to travel a lot. So I think that's another reason why most times my birthday I'm usually on a trip, which is okay by the way, because I mean, I don't know. Like I like to be around friends and family, so if if that happens on my birthday, then that's that's perfect, right? So yeah, so last birthday, what did you guys do? Did you enjoy it? What was it like? Let me know in the comment section. Was it quiet? Did you just wake up and say, okay, today I'm just going to sleep, or did you go out? What did you do? You know. <laughs> Please, oh, just me. Let me know in the comment section below. What did you do for your birthday? Yes, I want to know. I'm a poco like that. I want to know. <laughs> so I'm going to use my uh, Maybelline Matte Poreless Powder. I'm just going to use that to set my whole face um, before I apply my setting powder. Um, okay, so my last birthday, what did I do? We went... To Sweden I'm going to see try to see if I can insert some pictures we went to Sweden and I had an amazing time I think one of the things about me is I love I'm not one that loves to go out that much I don't go out that much I'm usually, I'm an indoor person I know guys I look like something that you can't describe don't worry everything will come together I don't know why I'm I decided to do this but I'm enjoying it so go go along with me <laughs> we went to sweden and guys we had an, well i had an amazing time i think every other person had an amazing time as well because everybody was happy we went around we saw the palace we saw like it's a beautiful beautiful city i'm sure you guys have already seen the pictures i hope you like them so we went around then on the last day uh we decided to go for these meatballs Guys, let me just see. Um, if you don't know, um, Sweden is, is known for their meatballs. Yeah. Uh, so when we wanted to leave, like for Sweden, we're like, okay, one of the things we have to eat is the meatballs. So we got to Sweden and we didn't, we didn't look for the meatballs immediately. We're like, we're going to reserve it till the end of the trip. So that All right, so I'm going to be doing the eyeshadow now and I'm going to get into this gist. <laughs> it's not that juicy guys don't worry so we went to the old town and we i think we wanted to get like some souvenirs and that thing is old towns are usually like the best let me not say the best like but one of the places where you are very sure that you will get you know souvenirs for your trip so we went to the old town to get some souvenirs and of course there were some restaurants there and we just thought to ourselves i, I remember somebody saying i think guys see meatballs oh, like let's eat um so we what we did was we actually googled the best place to eat uh meatballs best meatballs in town basically and we saw this restaurant so we're like okay that we're going to um go to that one that we googled and we saw that a lot of people left reviews and all that <laughs> my sister and brothers <laughs> they would have eaten the one at old town that's how we finished everything we wanted to do and then it was like later in the day we're like okay now we are ready for this meatball that's how we went to this place so that place that we found online that they said ah the, the reviews were really good though like ah, that the meatballs in this place is mad and all that so we're like ah, we have to check this place out brethren when we got there come and see people we saw a lot of people like a lot of people were there and we're like ah, what's happening 
and we're like ah, you know what let's let's still try let's uh, so we went to meet the there was a guy outside attending to people that were just coming and we told the guy that uh, that would like to book a table for ourselves <laughs> and the guy said i'm ah, sure that but that they don't have any table available at the moment but that we can wait so when the when a table is free they can you know uh put us on that table and we're like oh sure 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 now how long will it take and the guy was like an hour and a half or something but i know like, is, was it an hour or an hour and a half and we're like an hour and a half to get table and the way when you have finished getting the table then you will uh, what's it called you then wait again for maybe another an hour or 30 minutes before you get your meatballs uh -uh. he he are you little you like <laughs> it's not that deep at all like it's not that deep so at first i think we even decided okay at first let's even chill we chill and you know the funny thing that the children was standing you know they didn't even offer us this there was no seat to offer that's the thing so the chilling that we're chilling was we're just standing by the roadside and we're like okay what do we do what decision should we take you know that kind of thing and then somebody now said guys she would be better for us to look for another at least it's not like this is the ultimate meatball so we then googled another place and i think the place we now found was even it was very far from where we were so we just said you know what let's go back to old town that's how all of us so we entered boom 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 went back maybe we were who could eat in the meatballs that time so that we didn't have to go back we should have went back and you know the funny thing was that it was so good it was so good like i don't regret if i none of us regretted going going back to that um what's it called going back to the old town store none of us should get it it was so good like that's one of the highlights of that trip the meatballs were so good i loved it i loved loved it so so yeah then we just enjoyed ourselves again we <laughs> we had fun just uh, talk dance and that was it yes, it was like it's not more than that the simple things in this life they just make you happy that's the truth yes, and then next day we then like headed out so yeah that was how i spent my last birthday nothing to be honest nothing that spectacular but it was just nice to like be in the company of you know family and friends so i went back into we into my juvia's place palette and i used this shade and this shade mixed together for my lid yeah so that's the eyes done um for highlighter today i'm going to be using my glow getter highlighter palette I'll be using these two dark shades here i think i want to go in with the um dull light highlighter as well just going to apply just a bit and layer it over the one i initially applied so i'm going to line my lips um i'm going to line my lips with my pencil and i'm going to be using my milani lip stain in the shade adorable so i'm going to be using that on my lips I'm going to go over it with my e.l.f. lip gloss it has a bit of glitter in it so I'm just going to layer that on my lips so do you, do you like glossy lips now like me or are you team matte so let me know in the comment section below are you team matte or team lip gloss I'm team lip gloss <laughs> so team lip gloss already has one let me know 
what your preference is in the comment section below i'm going to do a final so i'm going to be using my um matte what's it called matte setting spray from primark so that so my face is ready um but we need to finish up the look so i'm just going to remove my headband so that i can style this in place I was thinking of wearing it coiled, like um, maybe bob, but I think I would wear it straight for now and then much later I can like coil the ends. It was easy to style and, um, and it was easy to straighten as well. So if you are interested in getting this kind of hair, then I'll leave the link in the description box below where you can easily just, you know, get to the ship worldwide this is the finished look what do you guys think oh god i'm living for this it's so beautiful i really like it what do you guys think ah i love nude looks man it just i don't know <laughs> what do you guys think i had to do the side parts because i preferred it to the middle part that originally came with the hair do you guys like it do you think i'm ready for my birthday you think i'm ready to party party <laughs> if you have watched up to this point thank you so much thank you so much guys for always hanging out with me i do not take it for granted if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and hit the subscribe button it will be an amazing birthday gift to me <laughs> and if you enjoyed this video up to this point please give it a huge thumbs up and share it with everybody that you can share with it's my birthday guys please Give me this birthday gift, share, subscribe, and like this video. I love you so much, guys. And I'll see you in my next one. Jesus loves you. Bye.